Welcome to SND, I'm JR, and today we are out in the west shore of Victoria, BC, otherwise known as Langford, <laughs> and we're at a restaurant that we've kind of overlooked for a while, but it's like pretty much in our backyard, and it's called White Spot. Now, let's talk about White Spot. So White Spot started in Vancouver, so it's actually a, a local thing by a, a fellow called Nat Bailey. There's a, I believe there's a stadium named after Nat oh, Bailey. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so in 1920, he had like an old Model T Ford and he used to sell hot dogs and ice cream uh, from his little truck and Cute. drive around. And then in 1928, he decided he wanted to open up a restaurant. And so on Granville Street, he decided to open up his own little place and he was going to call it uh, Gra ba Granville Barbecue or Barbecue on Granville. I don't remember exactly. But then... <sighs> And this is where things get weird because I didn't think this was part of the story. A friend convinced him to name it uh, the same name as a restaurant or a, a same name as a, that a restaurant in L.A. had called White Spot. Now, I grew up always thinking that White Spot had to do with they served a lot of chicken. There was a time when their logo actually was a plate and it had like sort of a, the figure of a chicken on it. And because, you know, they had chicken burgers and and and... And uh, so, according to Wikipedia, and from what I saw, it actually has a lot of racist undertones. Oh, really? And because it was in a very uh, well-to-do neighborhood, this one restaurant in L.A., and it was, you know, keep the neighborhood white. Oh. So great. Great white spot. <laughs> awesome. And, oh. I'll, and I will tell you, I didn't think that that, that was the case. I, I just thought it was a weird name, and, and it was just kind of a... Because why would you... Anyways. Um, why have they was, kept the name, It was then? like the early, the early 90s. Um, or what some people might call the late 1900s. <laughs> I was a, a young strapping lad, and there was a restaurant downtown, a white spot downtown, on Douglas Street. And I remember walking behind um, this African American family. Obviously, you could tell they were from the states. They had they had quite thick accents. And I remember walking behind them, and the and the father looked over at the sign and was like, "What the hell?" And I was just like, "Oh no 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 no, that's okay. It's it's because it's it serves a lot of chicken." And they were like, "Oh okay." <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Matt Bailey, god. you know, I guess he wanted to I don't know. That's That's just wild that they haven't changed the name if that's really what it, it originated from. It is disappointing. It is disappointing. <laughs> if anything. However, now, uh, they also have a, a, a or they don't have as many, but they used to have a lot of little restaurants called Triple O's where they just did burgers and fries. Mm. They have that on the ferry, so you can keep the BC ferries white. I don't know. And, but oh, Jesus. The, <laughs> the first time I heard a double double, it wasn't for coffee. It was actually for their burger. It was called the double double, double cheese, double meat. Um, and yeah, I love it. Anyways, the burgers were great. I remember they used to give you a nice big pickle. The fries were always good too, but I haven't haven't eaten here for a while. So mm -hmm, same. I guess we're gonna have to go in. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Obviously a burger, and then you, who knows what you're gonna get? Some weird salad. Yep, like you, you know me, do. some with salad. And then, obviously, you're going to see what we have. We'll come out, and we'll we'll talk about it afterwards, and we'll just try to wash off the shame of the name of this place. So Neat. let's go check it let's out. Let's do that. First up is the starter, or the appetizer, and we went for the crispy onion rings, which comes with a side of their zoo dip sauce. Then we went for the dip and chicken tenders, crispy breaded chicken tenders with your choice of dip. We went with honey mustard this time. And next up is the White Spot Club. We chose it on sourdough. It's turkey breast, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo, and chili sauce on your choice of toasted white, multigrain, or sourdough. There you can see the side of fries. The fries are hand cut, which is nice. And then for the burger, the star of the show, we went with the Double Double. It's White Spot's biggest burger. It's a half pound of 100% fresh Canadian beef, double beef patties, double cheese, lettuce, tomato, triple O sauce, and two dill pickles. Also, we went with the side of fries, which are again, are hand cut, which is a really nice option. All right, you've seen what we had. 
And first off, I just want to say, um, so this building for the white spot is actually purpose built. Like they built it just for white spot and it is pretty cool inside. It's an open space concept, um, really high vaulted ceilings. And um, for a family restaurant, it's, it's kind of a nice decor. We also wanted to give a shout out to our server, Emily. Oh. She was lovely. She was super friendly, chatty. It, uh, service was very prompt. It was like actually quite quick, a lot quicker than I remember the last time I, I had been here. And so let's get down to what we had. The first thing we had were the onion rings. Yes. Um, I was surprised at how much I liked them. They were super crispy. I like a good crunch to my onion rings. And they came with the, the zoo sauce, which normally comes with their zucchini sticks. Now, I don't... I, don't, I guess they still serve zucchini sticks. Do like, they do. The zoo sticks are still on the uh, menu. Yeah. Anyways, no, I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, and you had the well. Um, we also had the. Wait. The, the, did we even say how good the onion rings were? Yes, I did. I said I really enjoyed them. Oh, okay. Sorry. I said they had a really good crunch to them. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. They weren't like soggy or mushy. They were actually really good crunch. <laughs> the uh, dip and chicken strips. Dip and chicken. Yeah. Were apparently quite good. Yep. Um, now we all three of us had the fries and I really enjoyed my fries. I got a side of the triple O sauce, which is kind of like the, it's kind of like a mayo with a, with a red relish. It's, I really like it. it. It's kind of what makes their burger stand out to me. Anyways, you had the clubhouse. Yeah. The, the turkey club sandwich, which is and? super left field for me. Um, and on sourdough, on sourdough. I really enjoyed it. It was no? just, it was very big. I only ate half of it, but I really enjoyed it. And you also ate the garnish. So I didn't eat the, the coleslaw is not a garnish. It's col, considered col, a side. Coleslaw is a garnish. No coleslaw one eats coleslaw. Is delicious. It's basically just there to no. say we put something on the plate. They put it on the plate hoping that you would eat it, and now, I ate mine. I've you two clowns didn't eat yours. I've explained this before. Coleslaw is like collecting the entrails of an animal and Ugh. putting it on a plate and trying to make it look nice and That's saying, here true. you go, here's a little something Lots extra. Lots of people love coleslaw. You are Nobody wrong. loves coleslaw. I love coleslaw. Nobody, I will go on record and say right now, nobody loves coleslaw. I love coleslaw. 100%. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is infuriating. You're one, one person that likes coleslaw. <laughs> I disagree. I think nobody people in the comments coleslaw. are going to say they like coleslaw. No. Um, now let's talk about the burger. The so I don't know if it's because I've had like too many of the burgers on the BC Ferries. That is kind of just giving me a bad idea of what their burgers are normally like. Um, it, like I said, it's been a while since I've been here and had one of their burgers. This was a lot better than I remember. Um, you've seen in the pictures, it looked really good. Like it, it was, I mean, it's not a smash patty or a typical smash patty, but um, had the, so I got the double-double. Yeah. So basically two- And you added bacon. I added bacon. So two patties, two cheese, added bacon, and it was really good. Um, it comes with the triple O sauce again. That makes the that makes it like a. If you put that red relish on a burger and you give it a bit of that sweet sweetness and tanginess, that makes a big difference to me. But the ingredients seemed like they were really quite well. Like they're not not cheap ingredients. So yeah. the burger itself wasn't that cheap. I mean, I think it was twenty two dollars, but it also came with a side side of fries. And then I added the bacon, which is there's a car wash behind me. This was really distracting. Um, <laughs> It also came with a side of coleslaw. It did come with garnish, yes. <laughs> so, and I, it went with garnish. Actually, you ate some of mine, so. Yeah, because it was really good. It had sesame seeds in there, which You're was a nice like texture. You're kind of like going to the restaurant with a billy goat, you know? You'll start chewing on things. <laughs> Like, it's really, you know, oh, my fries, you're chewing on my fries. Oh, you're chewing on my garnish, you're chewing on my garnish. It is, and you're just sitting there like. I ate your mm, pickle mm, as well. Mm. Anyways, yeah, you did. So, so, anyways, we covered, this is getting out ahead. Um, so, besides, you know, I understand that this is the modern days and the people that work here and own it um, don't have anything to do with why it was named, what, what it was named back in 1928. So, um, it probably would have been better calling it the Granville Barbecue, but they didn't. It's called what it is. However, um, I had a great experience here. Same. I really enjoyed my double double burger. Everyone yeah. else enjoyed their food. Yeah. And our waitress Emily was great. Wonderful. So, if things go well, this should be the last show before I do my Vancouver adventure. We're hoping to get four or five shows in. I have some places I've really wanted to go. Uh, a New Haven style pizza, a Gordon Ramsay burger, one of the best steakhouses in, in, in Canada and uh, a couple of other surprises. So stay tuned for those and we'll see you next time on SND.